this was just a, a rough tack and there's two holes down there and they got these two holes that's supposed to line up and then on the back you're supposed to weld in um, a spot for that and that's supposed to connect and then everything's supposed to be all square on here but if you look here you can see I don't know if you can see real good but there's no flat surfaces on there whatsoever so to level that out my image is I'm gonna take a, oh, I got this big heavy bar and I'm not gonna be sad about adding a little bit more material at least down past the body mount anyways to give it more strength and I'm probably gonna cut a whole bunch of this off just because I can't stand it I think it's still good metal but I'm gonna square that up nice I gotta do both sides that way actually this side's a mess too but well I got part of it done I got just like I wanted I gotta fill in a little bit more and I gotta fill in on that corner but I got the new piece in that they gave me with the kit I've got paint all over it um, and I'm gonna add a little reinforcement right on the corner because I noticed I got kind of a there's a hole making a little bit more progress here this morning you got to be uh I'll show you this too. I'm trying this out for the first time. Anti spatter. Kind of sprayed on there and it seems to be working. Yeah, it didn't stick. Nice. You got to really watch their drawings and how they have you putting stuff together. Um, I kind of jacked this up a little bit. Luckily, I did it the same on both sides, but you're supposed to put the, the two corners together and fill the gap where I kind of butt jointed them up I think it's gonna be okay um, it just won't be exactly how they have it but I just got that tacked in and yeah this kind of a joint is what you're looking for where you then fill that in I'm using the point three weld rod or weld uh, MIG weld wire size so next I got to get this thing welded together and I got that you can see my nasty holes that I drilled but are plasma cuttered because I wasn't too worried about it but anyhow getting it I guess I also wanted to show you I mean it's a little janky because I've got two welding tables I don't have a great big nice one um, I have this square that I've used forever for all kinds of stuff. But I took the center. You can see how it's not curved. That center is the area. I mean, the best I could is I took that and lined it up and then tried to get it square based on that. I'm not welding this to the bar yet uh, until I have it on the vehicle. Um, and again, just tack welding everything lightly in case you got to cut it off. She's all tacked on. Well, good, I get to take those nasty brackets off. This area is all good. Pretty straight line, not too bad. Still got, I gotta pull it all off. I did get worried because of those bolts up there. I was like, oh no. But those True North guys did good because they put a slot there. So now I should be able to just slide the whole thing down once I unbolt it. Looking pretty cool though. Eight hours of welding. I don't know if I've gotten any better at it, but I got a lot more practice. I did put a little chamfer end on that. Um, I think that the little ends of the bumper, uh, or I say the frame, we're supposed to add in a little piece so that you can actually get those two bolts at the end uh, to bolt into that. But I 
had to redo my frame end and I think I made it a little far forward. Um, my welds aren't great, but you know, there's mistakes everywhere, but I don't think anybody's gonna notice. I've already forgotten about them, which that is the most important thing. Those I gotta grind down a little bit more. Um, that's one of my final welds. It's not so bad. Uh, I did, I was a little off, I'm not gonna lie. In the cross car direction for the main tube, I had it, ooh, that's so warm. I had it a little to the left or right, and that's based on fitting it to the car. So I, th I don't know if the, I don't know. I don't know if the car in the frames off slightly or something, if it got hit, but, um, I lined these up so they would match the bumper cover better, but I had to, I had to actually weld. I had to fill in quite a bit of a gap there. So I, I took a piece and added it. Um, I'll never know. It's strong. It doesn't look super pretty, but, uh, and I just got done welding the swing arm. I thought I was putting a lot of weld on there. I'm gonna have to grind some of that off. Um, you know, you walk by your welder and you flip that, oops. Uh, yeah, and I was like, man, I'm putting a lot of weld on. And I tried to go fast, uh, but it's a big old goopy mess there. I'm not so worried because that's the tension side. That's gonna hold all the way to that 60 pound tire bouncing around, but um, yeah, I'll show you. Look, that barely even touches there. So that's, I got it right where it needs to be with a little bit of weight on it. And it's going to fall over on me if I'm not careful. Um, but it works, and it looks really fabulous on the car, actually. Uh, those True North guys, True North Fabricators, did a really nice job designing this. And if my car was a little nicer, I think that this kit would have been, uh, it wouldn't have taken as long. <laughs> but I fit everything to the car because it's like an old house remodel. Things are crooked and everything. Um, you know, right there, yeah, it's pretty parallel. So I'm excited to get the rest of it done. I got a pile of parts still here to do. So even uh, they mention in the instructions that these are just going to be rough pieces of metal. Uh, and everything that they do. So you kind of got to prep these things a little bit. And honestly, I've been taking down the edges on most of the stuff that I know because don't want people getting hurt. Sorry if this is hard to hear, but I was going to just show you. I just stick them on here and take the, take the sharp edges off the corners. Use the flexible side of the of the blade up there. That makes it a little bit nicer. You can do it by hand too, but honestly, this is just a uh, Harbor Freight little belt sander, and I tell you what, that's probably the best investment I've ever made, and I didn't even buy it. My son Colby bought it for me. And I use this thing all the time, and it is awesome. Highly recommend it. Pretty cheap. And, I mean, you can see all the stuff everywhere from it. Get one. Ooh, getting closer. I got that all welded up. Some of my prettier welds that I can manage to, to make. I got this balanced on here, which I'm a little afraid of. I don't want to drop it, but... I am trying to figure out, do I put that on now? Do I trust that I have it level? Or do I put this on the vehicle and then level that? Mm. Decisions, decisions. It's about 10 o'clock on a Saturday. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Uh, tomorrow's Easter, we leave in a week. I think I better put it on the vehicle and do it right. I was trying to figure out where I wanted my rear tire. So the kit, they show it right in the middle. Um, but honestly, I want to put this uh, jerry can. Of course.
course I've got the metal tech one because I got a discount on that and decided to use it for jerry can extra gas uh what i noticed though is you got to be careful how far over you go because you're going to start blocking uh the the rear tail lamp but so, i gotta weld this on like i said this moves i got it marked where i want it but it's just it can move all around and then for the jerry can i'm gonna you know, it's going to have five gallons of gas, and it's going to be bounced around. So I was going to take this bar and tack it underneath. And you can see there's a, a couple of um, bolts, holes there. I'm going to utilize those, and it'll switch set on there nicely. And then on the top, uh, right here, I'm just going to put like a, a tab. I'm actually going to make it longer like that and put a hole, maybe something like that, an additional hole. Sorry, it's not really focusing very well. And uh, that way, if I ever wanted to put those um, recovery boards, which I have a set there that I'm borrowing from a friend of mine right now, um, I can put those in and I can have a, a, a location strapping point. technique I'm doing which I also asked the uh, SRQ guys how they do it is you go and you fill in fill in and you go back and build fill in and go back and build and it kind of gives you the dime the stack dime look is what all the welders like to have it looks pretty good Got that all fitted. Jerry can holder. Like I mentioned, I added a little hole here just in case I want to make some sort of a strap for possibly these guys. You know, there's, I could probably put them like that. Something. Dang it. I had to tap. These are uh, M6s. 1.0 thread pitch uh, it takes an M5 drill bit and they already had the holes pre-marked and pre-drilled so it just had to actually had to take them up to, to 5 mil uh, this came out pretty good tomorrow it's supposed to be warmer here in Michigan if not I'm gonna have to crank the heat on I gotta get it primered and painted stuff's painted Semi-gloss, black, like it, should go on nice. I think we're going to fight it a little bit, and of course it's got to be freezing in Michigan again. It's ridiculous. Uh, we leave for Moab next Monday, and it is Wednesday night, so we've got lots to do. Bumpers on, that was a lot of fun because I was missing my foam, so I used some of that, but that's good, nice and strong. I do have that cover piece I'm gonna put in, so. You ready, Bailey, you gonna help me do this? I know you don't want to. It's cold and miserable out here. Look at those new shoes, baby. Woo-hoo!